Hi, I'm Aaron Adair and welcome to Adair Guitars. In this video, I'll be going through how I made my own pickup winder and I'll be winding a couple of P90 pickups with it. Let's get stuck into it. So full disclosure before we start, I'm a complete beginner at pickup winding. Uh, I made this pickup winder last year sometime, and so far I've only wound one pickup with it, and that was the pickup I used for my great guitar boot off entry uh, for this year, um, and that was the neck pickup, the P90. If you haven't seen that video, check out the link here, I think you really enjoy it. So the idea of this video is really to show you how I've done it, um, and maybe to give you some ideas with how you might have a go yourself. So come on in closer and I'll show you how I made it. So let's have a look from the outside first. It's basically a box that's made from um, MDF and a bit of plywood for the top. Uh, the components we've got are the, the jack here, so it runs off uh, 12 volt um, power, so any uh, 12 volt transformer will work. Um, on the front panel we've got the variable speed control. Um, so this runs uh, clockwise and counterclockwise. Um, I will put links to the, uh, the components that I bought or um, information on the screen so you can look them up yourself. So basically the front has the speed control, on the top has the electronic counter, uh, it's a five digit counter which is uh, more than enough um, for pickup winding. Um, the motor that I used was one that I got out of a, a camping vacuum cleaner, basically one of those you know, cigarette lighter plug-in uh, 12 volt uh, motors. Um, so all of the plastic was sort of part of uh, that enclosure, which kind of works really well for, for this winder. Um, and I just put a, a circular disc um, attached uh, there for the, the pickup to stick onto. Now this one, the motor's probably a bit too strong or a bit too fast for what I need. Um, and if it goes too fast, it does get the, the speed wobbles a little bit. Um, but basically the counter, uh, if you go too fast, the counter doesn't work. Um, so you really, you know, you don't really need to use uh, a lot of speed um, on the speed control. Um, and at the front, I've just got a, um, an aluminium bar um, with a couple of pegs and washers on it uh, to guide the wire uh, as it goes through. And you might have noticed already that the counter um, has been counting. So basically we've got the, the magnetic switch. Um, so you can just see the magnet uh, attached to the wheel. So every time that goes around um, and passes, you can see the, the counter is counting. And obviously it goes a lot faster than that when you're winding pickups. So if we have a look on the inside, we can see the power um, is just coming in from the side here and it's just soldered uh, onto the two leads. That then goes into the positive and negative um, on the speed controller. Uh, those leads are just screwed in, so you can see there we've got the, the positive and negative, and then we've got the positive and negative coming out from uh, or for the motor, and those leads are, um, are just soldered on there. And you can see the counter is on a separate circuit. Um, we just have the two leads once again uh, just screwed uh, in place, and that just goes to the, um, the magnetic switch uh, on the side. Okay, so it's time to wind some pickups. Now I'm not gonna go through step-by-step -step instructions how I do it. Basically, I'm using uh, P90 kits from Stu Mac, uh, so I'm really just following their instructions. Um, as I said, I'm not an expert on this, so if I follow their instructions, I hopefully will, uh, will get it right. One thing I will be doing, so I can have them as hum cancelling when they're both on, is to have one that's reverse wound with uh, reverse polarity. And also, so I can have a similar volume output, I'll wind the neck pickup at about 90% uh, of the bridge pickup, and then hopefully the volume output will be the, the same or similar for both. So I'll be going for about 10,000 winds on the bridge pickup, and about 9,000 on the neck pickup. All right, time to get winding.
some strange damn things the goodness of man those in the middle never move it a few times just to make sure that I'm getting an even wind um, on the bobbin so I'm pretty close only a few hundred to go and then we'll be done with this part anyway
Okay, so there's one P90 pickup done. It just needs to be wax potted and cover goes on and it is all finished. So let's just check the resistance on it. So it's got 10,000 wines. So let's see what we ended up with, hopefully somewhere around the 8K mark. Yep. Pretty good, seven, what's that, 7.91, so I'm very happy with uh, how that's turned out. And when I do the, the neck pickup, I'll use this one for the bridge. Uh, so the neck pickup will be 9,000 wines, um, so it will be a bit under 8K. So it's time to wax pot the pickups now, and fortunately for me, my wife and daughter uh, make candles as a hobby, so I've got uh, plenty of uh, wax and supplies around to do that. So when using candle supplies, why not go all out and use a fragrance as well? So I've gone through all the fragrances they've got, and I've set it on sea salt and ocean breeze. And this might be a world first, the only scented guitar pickups. Okay, let's get melting. So there we go, two P90 pickups made on my homemade pickup winder. And as a bonus, leftover wax for a candle. And in a future video, I'll be using these P90 pickups uh, to put them in a Telecaster build that I'm just about to finish off. They really do smell like the beach. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.